nurse is the kind of factotum who makes everything else possible, in a sense, because she lays out the instrument, she sterilises the gown, she's the kind of medical secretary who's typing out the notes, and uh, as well as doing the sort of caring. So this is, it, it demonstrates the sort of extraordinary breadth and repertoire of her skill and capability, uh, which you actually see focused, at least in these hospitals, and they're mainly sort of field hospitals, although it Hang takes on, you on that kind of journey from the battlefront the right to the, um, the convalescence hospital the back tears. home. It seems that she's, nurse, she's that sort of link, that major continuity, and that the medical sort of focus is much more defined and delimited. A woman who will mean all those things to you. The preparation for the moment that would bring the army nurse to your side began months ago back home in the United States. It started with four weeks of basic training. The army nurse is ready to serve no matter where her assignment may take her. After she arrives, she may have to help build the very hospital in which she is to work. Those muscles toughened and hardened during the four weeks of basic back home are equal to the job. In the field, the army nurse lives roughly and works gently. There's no glamour, and her life is far from spectacular. She trains her mind to act as an alarm clock, because time is important. A wasted moment may mean a wasted life. A GI helmet may not be exactly what she'd choose to wear to her kid sister's wedding, but it makes up for its lack of style by its versatility. It's a beauty parlor, laundry, cooking pot, wash basin, and anything else you might wish to call it. She may long to wear the evening dress sent from home, but probably only gets the chance to talk about it. Usually she wears olive drab or battle gray. Her uniform at all times is her badge of service. But however she spends her time, she always wants to return to the hospital where the wounded are fighting for their lives. For first and foremost, and at all times, she is a nurse offering professional and skilled care to the sick and wounded. A nurse first, a woman second, and an officer third might well serve as the slogan for every member of the nurses' corps. Professionally skilled and capable, in her there is the tenderness of all women, of mother and sister and friend. Nurses sterilize the operating equipment, the surgical gowns and gloves, prepare drugs, lay out the instruments the doctor will need for his next operation, and keep accurate records of each patient's history and progress. Relaxation and entertainment are an important part of medical treatment. To this general hospital overseas comes an all-star show, and the army nurse shares the fun with her patients. The sound of laughter from home often means more than medicine. Later on, she may spend a few minutes with the star, and there may be times when she herself is the star of the show, like this nurse, the first woman to land on Bougainville. Wherever transports are taking our soldiers, they are also taking the army nurse to work by day, by night, on distant battlefields, to help make shattered bodies whole, to bring smiles to faces twisted with pain, to serve at the side of the man hurt by war, directly by shell fire or indirectly by disease. This is the Army Nurse USA, ready to serve anywhere, under any circumstances, in time of need.